Jim Gardner and Bob Mill Sky News 9 over that fire this afternoon. And news since 6 o'clock, we are hearing from investigators, and right now we know two people are dealing with severe injuries. News 9's Jordan Fremstead is live at the scene there in Logan County with new details. Jordan. Carl and Amanda, firefighters tell us this whole situation really challenged them in order to put this fire out here this afternoon. Everything is out right now, but they say this whole situation could have been a lot worse. And now investigators are telling us that there are questions about the legality of this marijuana grow operation. Shortly before 4 p.m. We were dispatched for a possible explosion in building fire. Firefighters in Logan County went to work. This appears to be one of those uh, grow houses. Oak Cliff Assistant Fire Chief Darren Martin says this fire hurt two people. Got three ambulance, transported two individuals from here uh, to the hospital in serious but stable condition. Investigators say the owners of this marijuana farm off Sooner Road in Logan County did not have the required building permits to show the building was safe. Um, obviously, um, these, some of these facilities aren't to code, um, which could result in fire or explosions or something of the uh, nature. Nicholas Neto is the deputy administrator with the Oklahoma LP Gas Administration. He says it's too early to tell if this was a gas explosion. However, he discovered something else. If they, they was have obtained butane here uh, illegally. Butane gas is highly flammable, which is why it is heavily regulated in Oklahoma. We can strongly say that they are very lucky that no one was killed here. Neto says they'll continue to investigate to find out what happened on Thursday afternoon. This is this is definitely a, a illegal grow. We're, we're fortunate, unfortunate there were injuries, fortunate there wasn't fatalities. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics and the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority are looking into this. We are told any criminal charges would come from those agencies. We're live in Logan County tonight. I'm Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.